this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Pokemon Moon. I am here, still inside of uh, Po Town, which is, um, it's not the nicest place at all. Can you see that? There's there's an item all the way back, back there. Hmm, I might need to, to go through the, the house to get that one, possibly. Yes. Anyway, so yeah, Po Town. I like saying Po Town, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. It's been overtaken! by Team Skull. You can see they've basically taken over the, the entire town. They stole a whole load of Pokemon and their team leader asked for me personally to, to come down here and I had to come alone. So I've traveled all the way here by myself and they've made a mess of the place. They've taken over the Pokemon Center. I had to pay 10 monies just to, to get my Pokemon healed up. So absolutely outrageous. So luckily I am here. I'm here to, to save the day, defeat all of these Team Skull grunts and yeah, hopefully uh, take on the, uh, the, the leader again. I battled him before and had uh, very little trouble with him. So hopefully uh, the same thing's gonna happen here. But first, I need to battle, as you all know, my least favorite Pokemon, Zubat. Hello, Zubat. So a few videos ago, I I asked everyone to um leave in their the comments their least favorite Pokemon, just because I said about how much I don't like Zubat. So let's switch it around this time. Everyone's got to do it. You are listening to this right now. You haven't even had time to, to switch off the other video. You listening right now, you need to, to let me know what is your favorite Pokemon. So we've done least favorite. Now we need to, to do favorite. My favorite is Squirtle. It is the first Pokemon I ever owned in one of the, the games. It was my uh, starter Pokemon all uh, of those years ago back on uh, Pokemon Moon when that... Uh, not Pokemon Moon. <laughs> that wasn't very long ago. That's right now. Uh, yeah, um, Pokemon Blue uh, when that first came out. So Squirtle uh, has remained my favorite Pokemon. And look at me! digging through the ground inside of a house. I'm gonna ruin the carpet. I mean, Team Skull have already made a mess of the place themselves a little bit, but digging around in the, the ground isn't gonna make things any better. Also, have you noticed that this, <laughs> this seems to be like a green gem in um in its bum? You see the Zygrade? You see its, its bum? Can you see there's like a, a glowing like emerald or something there? Don't know what that's about, I will be honest. A little bit peculiar, but... <laughs> oh well, that's just something I noticed there. Just just uh, saw it flashing in the, the corner of my eye and uh, felt like I should point uh, it out. Anyway, uh, let's go and bring out Squirmy. I think Squirmy knows Bite, which is a pretty good... Um attack to, to take out Ghastly, and I don't think any of Ghastly's moves is going to be super effective against Squirmy either. And I don't feel like I've battled with Squirmy in ages. I was so happy when I evolved my Squirmy, and I hardly ever bring it out. So there we go. There was a uh, uncommon uh, look at uh, at Squirmy coming out to, to join the, the battle. Miss Stampy Cat's just so good for a, a first Pokemon to, to be out when you don't know what the, the other trainers or, or random Pokemon trainers are, are going to, to have. Uh, so yeah, really, really useful there. Anyway, uh, let's go straight into uh, another battle. I'm sure I could have probably avoided these battles but if I'm uh, going up against a big battle I'd rather uh, kind of get all of my Pokemon leveled up and kind of just get into the swing of things it's a brand new episode I always like to, to start off by doing some Pokemon battling like I always like a mixture and what is that thing that thing is really ugly some pretty cool colors on it but I don't even know what it is <laughs> it looks like a spiky lampshade or something no idea let's let's just go for a power gem because that seems to be doing uh, quite well against kind of random Pokemon. Is it super effective? Uh, no, but still did uh, some pretty nice damage all the same. So, uh, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My video. So, I always like to, to have a pretty nice mixture. Like, I like to to, to be able to um, do a lot of battling, but I also like kind of exploring and just talking to people at the, the same time. And so I'm always I'm always happy when like I end an episode. I'm like that was a that was a nice mix because some episodes there's just loads of talking. Sometimes it's just non-stop battling. But I like a nice combination of all of them. And oh, is this aha? I think this might take me to the the swimming pool. This is a rather lovely house. Well, would have been a a lovely a, a, a rather lovely house before uh, any of the uh, the team school people showed up. But we've got an ice stone. Definitely a, a good thing to to get out there to to grab. So if you're looking for an ice stone, playing Pokemon Sun or Moon, then that is uh, where you're going to to find it. You're welcome. My comprehensive guide on how to play Pokemon Sun or Moon. Ah, uh, I think not. <laughs> and it looks like I can go in some of these doorways. I didn't realize I could. Oh, um, gee, please don't tell me that, uh, please don't tell me that's my skull tank you're wearing. Oh, no, wonder it stinks. It's the same design, though. It does not stink. That's a lovely aroma. Anyway, we should write our names on them so we don't mix them up. Um, hello, our names are all Grunt. What's the point? Hello. 
Oh boy, I can't believe he was eavesdropping on us. I guess we have to teach him a lesson. Uh, hello? Why are you eavesdropping to our conversation? That is like totally not cool. We're just Team Grunt here. Team Grunt, Team Skull Grunt. <laughs> right then, 2v1 I guess it's going to be. Or are we going to do... Okay, looks like I'm battling them one at a time anyway. And oh no, a Ratata. <laughs> How long has this lady been a Pokemon trainer? And she's like, right, let me use all my best Pokemon and moves. And she brings out one not particularly high leveled Ratata. <laughs> not going to be winning many Pokemon battles with that. See here, she's just going to embarrass me now and just totally destroy me. I think not. Uh, one or two slashes uh, should be enough to, to deal with this Ratata. And whoa! Alright, calm down, Ratata. Oh, oh, it hurt itself. So it did a bunch of damage, but it did hurt itself at the, the same time. And oh no, Bite is not very effective. I didn't really look at that. It should hopefully be enough. There we go. Just about enough to, to finish off the, the Ratata anyway. And it uh, looks like we're going to need to, to heal up Miss Stampy Cat pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, one of them uh, down so far. Uh, so let's go and uh, battle the, the next one, I'm assuming. How embarrassing. I guess I really am just a grunt. Well, that was like so uncool. I'll get my revenge for you while still wearing your skull's tank. <laughs> the little stroppy dance move at the end as well. They're just like, they're just like stroppy, childish people. That's all they are. That's all Team Skull is. Silly, stroppy people that are just getting all upset about absolutely nothing. <laughs> and oh, here we go. We've got a step up here. We've got an Eraticate coming into to play. <laughs> Not hugely better than an Eraticate. I mean, Eraticate, I mean, they're fine. They're, they're decent Pokemon. It's just like... I feel like it's just the most common Pokemon out of all of the Pokemon games. I don't know. It's just nice to it's nice to, to own the the special rare ones. Anyway, I think I might need to, to switch out from Miss Stampy Cat here. Let's um let's do one more slash and see how that goes. But then I might need to, to switch around to a different Pokemon just to just to play it safe. How much damage is this gonna do? Oh, oh it's close. Oh, it's close. Do you reckon one more slash will take them out? Should I take the risk? Let's take the risk. Let's do it. Let's see if I can get them in one more slash. I'm being bold here. you got to be bold to win. And oh, no, it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I should have switched away. Uh, I have zero common sense to her when it comes to this game. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. At least we can go and switch around to someone else. And let's bring out... Let's bring up Zygrade just because uh, I should be able to, to pretty quickly finish them off. And uh, Zygrade uh, could do with some leveling up. Anyway, there it is again. There's the little... I don't really, I don't really want to look at it anymore, to be honest. Right then, brick break. Oh yeah, brick break. Uh, I taught some um, some new moves to to Zygrade in between this episode and the last episode. I've been getting loads of TMs through the game, and as plenty of you have pointed out, I haven't really used very many of them. But uh, I did uh, go and uh, and use that on uh, on Zygrade before we we got here. All right then. So uh, what I'm going to do is actually let's let's see what they have to to say. Ugh, her skull tank was too tight for me. It was so distracting that I lost. It's all her fault. Oh yeah, sure, sure. A likely story. All right then, let's go and carry on exploring in these rooms. I'm going to switch around Pokemon. I'm not going to worry about reviving Miss Stampy Cat for for now. I'm going to I'm going to to wait until we get to the 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 final boss. I went well, not the final boss, but uh, the the boss of Team Skull, and then I'm gonna revive them here because I don't want to revive them. They end up just getting taken out uh, again anyway. I did do some shopping as well. I, I bought some more uh, hyper potions, uh, super potions, and uh, like a bunch of revives as well. I spent like almost all my money again. That's all I buy, just loads of potions and revives. So uh, I should be uh, okay uh, for for this and kind of future trials and stuff going forward because I certainly make my way through them all very quickly. And here we go. This is good. I think that's a uh, uh, a grass Pokemon. One. So um, Poochie uh, should be absolutely perfect. My perfect Poochie uh, should be uh, uh, yeah, doing pretty decent in this battle here. So yep, super effective. Let's go for a Fire Fang. Uh, this should hopefully uh, be enough to take it out in one move. Fingers crossed. There we go. Absolutely no problems whatsoever. I think that was the, the only Pokemon they had. I am absolutely blasting through Team Skull here. And I love just the faces they pull after the battle as well. Never stop being entertaining. So it looks like there might be some... Um, yeah, some special things I can kind of find uh, throughout some of these rooms. Were there some Wii U's, I think, in the, the background over there? Uh, there's another guy just lurking around upstairs here. And I reckon we're probably getting close to the team boss because I feel like we've we've explored the majority of the, the house. I mean, there might be a, a few rooms downstairs that I just ran past. Not really something I could go in them. But in terms of upstairs, there's probably not much... Uh, left for for me to explore so we should be uh, hopefully uh, closing in and there's a 
a little thing <laughs> that he threw out uh, again there. What's it called again? It is a whim pod. I think I've seen one of these before. Uh, yeah, hopefully uh, I should be able to do some decent damage against it. I'm not super effective against it in anything, but Fire Fang is just like a really powerful move anyway, so uh, I should be able to. There we go. Take it out in one hit anyway. I'm destroying Team Skull. Like, I don't know. Am I over leveled at this point? Oh, they are sending out a Drowsy as well. Let's switch Pokemon over to... And what would be good against Drowsy? I think I think maybe our ghost moves good against Psychic, I think. I don't know. I feel like I'm starting to, to learn them. I, th I think that might be a thing. So let's go and, uh, and see if uh, any of uh, my, my Bowie's ghost moves are, are going to be uh, able to, to do decent damage against it. Yep, I was right. Oh, and dark moves uh, as well. Well, let's go for let's go for Sucker Punch then. Let's see. Let's see what Sucker Punch does. It failed. Brilliant. There we go. <laughs> let's uh, not do Sucker Punch. Let's just go for, for Spirit Shackle instead. Let's uh, play it safe and try and get a guaranteed hit. I am level 42 as well. So this should hopefully take out in one hit. If Drowsy's uh, defense isn't too good. And there we go. Drowsy once again taken down in one hit. I think the, the majority uh, of the, the Team Skull Pokemon I've gone up against have been able to, to take out in one hit. So yeah, things are, are definitely going pretty well right now. I don't want to jinx it, but things aren't going too bad. All right then. Oh, can I get to the balcony? It looks like I can, but oh, what's going on here? If you wish to meet Master Guzma, then give me the three secret passwords. Um... Good, glad to see you You got no bones about it, obeying our sacred traditions. I need to find some passwords. What are the passwords? There's, see, there's an area up to the right there, but I can't, I can't get to it. There's some boxes and things in the, the way. Let, let, let's, let's, let's see if I can just guess the passwords. Okay, so let's just say yes. Then tell me this month's first password. Which move does Master Guzmo like best? Uh, nasty plot, because he's a Team Skull person and he would like that. Then tell me this month's second password. Which Pokemon does Master Guzmo like best? Uh, we have seen a Wimpod, a Golizopod, or a Arcranoid. Let's go for a Golizopod? Then tell me this month's third password. Which drink does Mr. Cosmo like best? Uh, Moo Moo Milk, uh, Tapu. Let's go for Moo Moo Milk, because it sounds funny. So you think the passwords are Nasty Plot, uh, Golizopod, and Moo Moo Milk. Are you sure about that? Well, no, but I'll say yes. You got the passwords wrong, you bonehead! Get out of here! Go home! If you're serious about meeting Master Guzmo, then get to know him better first. Look around the mansion and see what you can learn about our great boss. Ah, this is going to be cool. Right, right. Let's uh, let's look for some clues around the, the place then. Um, I can't see anything in here that's necessarily going to give me a clue. Oh, this mom's secret password is Golazopod. Okay, just literally writing on the, the floor. So that one was right. I guessed that right. Oh, it's going to be annoying. I bet I'm going to get two of them right and one of them wrong. I bet you anything that's going to be what's going to happen here. Um... I don't think there's any clues in here. I mean, there's bottles around, but I can't really see what they are. So uh, I don't think I ever went in this room, did I? Ah, there is an item. Oh, sludge bomb. I can go and grab that. Any any more clues? Any moo moo milk or any other drinks around the place? I don't think there's any other clues in there. What was the, the other question? Um, the favorite, oh, the favorite move wasn't there, like nasty plot and other things. Uh, let's go and look in, oh yeah, look, there's all of these rooms, I haven't been in any of these, all right. Looks like we have a, a whole bunch more exploring to, to do, oh, look at this, uh, beat up. So, be, so, Team Skull Puzzle, so we got beat up is the first move, then Golizopod, the only other thing we need to, to know is what drink does he like the, the, the most. So, uh, we've got ourselves a Max Revive, definitely a, a very nice thing to, to have. That guy there is just totally asleep. It looks like uh, we're just looking for paper, like, I thought we were going to have to, to look for actual clues in terms of, like, a bottle just lying on the side or something like that, but it looks like there's just pieces of paper with the, the passwords written down on them. Uh, anyway, it looks like we have found our way into it. A another battle. Hopefully I can uh, win this one uh, just as well as I've been winning uh, all of the, the other ones, but let's not get uh, ahead of ourselves here and uh, let's see what they're going to, to bring to the, the battle. Only one Pokemon and uh, let's see what they're going to send out. Oh, a Haunter! 
Okay, so I, th I think I should be able to to deal with this with a, a pooch. I just don't want to get put to sleep. I hate hypnosis so much. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I'm going to be able to, to deal with it before it puts me to, to sleep. It's like not necessarily like a really effective move. It's just really irritating. But let's go for a fire fang. And I'm only a slightly higher level, so I don't think I'm going to win in one hit. That was a lot of damage. And oh no, confuse Ray. That's almost as bad as getting put to, to sleep. I guess if you're asleep and confused, it doesn't really matter too much because you're asleep anyway. Uh, let's just go for for a, a flame wheel because I think that has a, gr a better chance to, to hit and hopefully I'm not going to be confused. There we go. I was able to, to use flame wheel anyway. Took zero damage during the, the battle and goodbye Haunter. Right then, it seems like we entered a, a pretty big room so there's a, a good chance uh, that we might be able to, to find the, the other clue here. I mean, what we could do at this point is put down the two clues that we know are right and then I could just guess three times and wait until I get them all right like that that would be an okay strategy to, to do it but I feel like that might be kind of cheating a little bit and I reckon the, the last clue is going to be down here here we go look right down here anyway uh, this month's secret password is Tapu Coco remember a true team skull member always uh, butts head and answers with a hearty no oh okay maybe not true team skull member always butts heads and answers with a hearty no so the thing is I'm not a team skull member am I pretending to, to be one so I think we need to give the three answers to the the passwords and then when they say are you sure I have to go no because I'm a stroppy team skull member and I just say no to things because that's <laughs> that's just what team skull members do then so uh, let's go make my way upstairs I need to hopefully remember what the answers to the passwords were do you remember them I think I remember them uh, but let's go and use a, a revive on old um uh, on Miss Stampy Cat Fur, shall we? Uh, so yeah, I got I got 13 of these, so I might as well just use this now. Probably not going to need it. I'm not going to need all these Pokemon, but it's nice to to have them up anyway. And then let's just use a um a super potion, which should be is it in this side. No, it should be around here somewhere. There's hyper potion. They're in a really weird order. Well, I guess I could just use like loads of normal potions. I got nine of them. Like I can just kind of spam a bunch of them. Like they're not much use in battles, but there we go. I can just use a bunch of these uh, just to get Miss Stampy Cat back up to 117 health. Right then, uh, let's go and speak to, to Team Skull and let's see if I can remember. I do know the secret passwords. Uh, beat up is the, the move. The, the Pokemon is Golizopod. And then the, the third password is Tapu Coco. Uh, Tapu Coco, sorry. Uh, do you think the passwords are Beat'em Up, Goddess Pod, and Tapu Coco? Are you sure about that? No! A hair, a hearty no. <laughs> you know all Master Guzmo's favourite things. And you even know to say no at the end. Yes, of course you're one of us, Bonehead. Oh, I guess I was going to get called Bonehead no matter what. If you want to have an audience with Master Guzmo, then follow the path out onto the roof. What's he doing on the roof? Okay, let's go and speak to, to Master Guzmo. Oh, which way which way do we go? I guess we can't climb on the, the door. We can go up here. There's a, a Pokeball we can grab there. And an escape rope might need that from getting away from, from here. We're we going back inside? Okay, ah, that just leads back to, to here again. Okay, then there's the uh, the two bonehead standing guard, and there he is again. <laughs> on his little throne he's made inside of this house here. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, big bad Guzmo here. I don't really get you, kid, but at least this is a change of pace. It's not every day someone comes straight to me for a beating. Oh, young goose, how sweet of you to help a sad little girl. <laughs> <laughs> And you came all of this way just for that, huh? Can't you just watch out for your own Pokemon and stay out of other people's business? You're one messed up kid. You want to know what I do when some machine messes up? First thing I gotta do is give it a nice hard smack. I mean, most of the time I smash it to pieces, but hey, what can you do? Now, let's see if I can fix you then. Maha, it's me, Gizmo, the evil Pokemon Snatcher, and now no one gets. <laughs> right then, after all of that talk, he better bring some, some A-grade Pokemon. He's got two! 
Two Pokemon. Oh, run through to the hills. Two Pokemon. All right, let's let's not make fun of him yet because I haven't won the battle yet. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but I'm feeling pretty confident going into this battle considering how things are going. Level 37 though, uh, definitely much higher than his Grunt, but you would uh, expect that. Uh, let's go straight in for a Z Power. There's no point waiting around here. There's no point beating around the bush. Let's go straight in and just do as much damage as uh, as we can. So it's not going to be super effective or anything, uh, being uh, fire, but. Uh, using the, the Z power kind of just makes it pretty powerful no matter what I do anyway. So right then, the full power of Z power, Inferno Overdrive. Let's just go and blast him and see, yeah, how much this damage this is going to do. Because normally when you're going up against these special trainers, they like using items a lot more. Like normal people you run into don't normally use items very much. Uh, but these guys, they normally heal up their Pokemon a lot. So I got to I gotta kind of be prepared for him to, to start healing up at some point. Uh, just to be ready for that. And oh, look at that. They switched them around as well. That's something else that the... The, the normal Pokemon don't do very much. The normal trainers, sorry. But the, the special ones does. But do you know what? This is going to be even better because uh, Poochie is, uh, is really good against uh, Grass Pokemon because he's fire. So I might be able to take this guy out on one hit. Look at that. Oh, no. Nearly. Oh, but I burned them. I burned them. Hopefully he doesn't get healed up and I can take it out. Oh, no, look at that. It was taken out by the burn. Only just. So there we go. Technically, I didn't take it out in one hit, but I basically did. Bowie uh, leveled up to, to level 43 and uh, he's only got that, that same Pokemon. So, uh, I don't know what I don't know what type it was. Let's just uh, let's go to good old Miss Stampy Cat because there's a good chance that one of these one of these moves is going to be super effective. So <laughs> let's switch to, to Miss Stampy Cat and uh, see if we can finish this thing off. Oh, this is the old Gollers Pod, of course it is. Let's see if it uses the the, the beat up move. And there we go. Uh, Power Gem, my Rock move uh, is going to be super effective against it. Uh, let's hope. Oh, whoa, wow, we okay. No worries, I take it all back. We do have a battle on our hands here. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I can look through here and see which moves are going to be super effective. So there we go. I can use electric moves right then. Pikachu, uh, it's going to be your turn to, to come out now. And uh, let's use... Oh, let's use... I don't use Thunderbolt yet, actually. Thunderbolt is really powerful. There's no way this is not going to finish it off. Not a chance. There we go. Gollus Pod uh, is taken out and Guzmo is defeated. And I should be uh, able to, to get the, the, the stolen Pokemon back. I thought it was more than one. Yeah, yeah, right, got to admit it. That was great. Well, at least, at least he can admit it. They normally can't admit it when they get beaten, but at least he was able to, to admit it then. Guzma! What is wrong with you? Yo, give the Pokemon back to that kid now! Q! Tch! Huh? I'm going to beat you down one of these days, no matter whose help I need to do it. Ah, got to go get some help, okay? Can't beat me by yourself. What's that big, like, box of stuff down here? A buggy M Z. Is it just a bunch of, like, Z crystals? Oh, let me just take all of them. <laughs> I know, I can see the different. Oh, that is good. That is nice. Oh, he's going to tell me off. Excuse me, B. Oh, is this guy going to battle me now because I went and sat in his chair? But, 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 you're not the boss. What's the deal, homie? You're not the boss of me. Hmm. <laughs> I guess it's just like a little a little bonus cutscene because I went and sat in the guy's chair. <laughs> anyway, that is the, the end of this episode here. I was able to defeat Guzmo and I got the, the Pokemon back. Uh, so now I'm going to go and head back to, to Aether House. I kind of just fly back from the, the Charizard. And yeah, I'm going to, to live the, uh, deliver the Pokemon back. Jolly good. That was good fun. I love doing the, the passwords and stuff like that. And that battle was fun. And it's just nice beating people with big mouths, isn't it? <laughs> uh, dear, but that is the end of this episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. There will be a link in the description to the next episode, which will be online very soon there's also going to be a link in the description to their playlist which has all of my pokemon moon videos in a order where you can go and watch through them one after another but for now thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all later bye